What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Yes, I am excited. I get the logo up top in the corner. I finally, I was able to use my, my iPhone as a webcam. I'm super excited. And I almost spent $7,500 on the Canon to do the same job. And last second, I found this app called CAMO. Camo, you can download it on your phone and you can download it on the computer to have a uh, high quality um, uh, uh, webcam basically. So anyway, I'm not here to talk about the webcam, I wanna talk about VIP shop management obviously. And the first thing I wanna talk about, printing checks. I mean, the hardest part was for me when I was running the shop is writing checks, especially when you're so busy and hours don't need a check right now and now you, your hands are dirty and you gotta sit and write $1,300 and now before I wasn't able to show you like how the check looked like now with this camera, I mean with my phone, I can show you that, I can show you how the how. So let's go back to VIP shop management right there, right check. You're not gonna find these features in Shop Monkey and Tech Metric and all this because they're behind. They don't understand the need of what a shop owner needs because they never worked, including Tech Metric that claimed that they did. Probably they were the owner or something. Um, you need somebody like me who was a mechanic and was a shop owner and now and created the software all this combination not gonna find anywhere else so I don't want to type anything so if I type AutoZone look it's gonna it's gonna do the whole thing all I need to type right here is let's say one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and thirty six cents everything the writing right here it's already typed in and uh, to buy the check let me show where you can buy the checks so just click on buy checks and uh, you gotta come here to Vista Print and just browse and design. And basically, the check that we're looking for, they keep you, by the way, Vista Print continue to change the link on me. So make sure you're up to date and they need you to be signed in. It's like crazy. They drive me insane, literally. Everybody needs to be signed in right now. Okay, so that's fine. Well, at least we signed in, but this is the check that we, you can get different color, that's not the thing, but make sure this is a check, the LMP12. Uh, basically, it's just one check up top, and uh, the other two sections are empty. So I'm gonna write a check right now and show you how that looks like. So let's click on issue a check and print. And let me go grab it real quick. All right, I got it right here. Trying to not show the street and all right, uh, see. Um, All right, I got it right here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is how that check looks like. Everything looks professional and uh, your information, your bank, basically your bank account and all your information will be pre-printed uh, from, uh, uh, from Vistaprint. And uh, it just looks amazing. And when you, all you have to do is basically just stare it like this. I mean, the stop, you're not gonna need it. Maybe one day we can use it to make a pay stop, basically. So that's the check, you give it, you, you look professional, first of all, and more, like, the, the look is really important, but what's more important is the, the automation of it. And to view your paycheck, let's go back to VIP right here. You, you can click right here, but you can see all your paychecks, which is really cool. You can go back and forth and all that, so. So make sure you use that. That's one, one of the things that you should be using is printing checks. The other one that you should be using is printing all chain stickers. I mean, literally, I, those two, I don't make any money, but I want the best for your shop. And if you're not using this, you are missing out. If you if we have a basic all change right here, and we're gonna click on print all chain stickers. First of all, since you're in, at this screen, well, might as well add the capacity and oil viscosity and oil filter so next time you don't have to retype and go open the book and look up this stuff. You don't have to do that. 
and we're gonna print that and see how that look like and first of all it's gonna and secondly it's gonna add next on the recommendation next service due which is really cool so if we're gonna look at the before we show you the other thing we gotta look at the invoice look at the invoice it looks so beautiful man this is the most the best invoice. I should get a, a uh, an award uh, I shouldn't be saying that but I'm just saying it does look better than the most professional like we had the uh, uh, a customer just told me recently, like, you know, they switched to TechMetric and then they had to come back to VIP Shelf Management. And he said, I can't believe that I'm paying $400 a month for a shitty invoice. And I was like, I agree. This one is, is really more like complete. It looks uh, uh, official invoice versus the other invoices that they have where it looks like somebody made them uh, using Microsoft Word. So anyway, let me show you. Let's look at the, the let me bring my screen. I need to get used to this. All right, so this is the old change sticker. Look at this, so I can show it to this. Let's see if we can show it now. See how it focuses. This is the old change sticker. It looks fantastic. And, and it looks unique, and it has a barcode. What's that barcode? If you ask me more, what is that barcode? Guess what is that barcode right there? The barcode is the VIN number of the vehicle. That's insane, nobody ever done that. We did that at VIP Shop Management. We do the stuff that nobody would think about. Yes, this is an official sticker that nobody can basically can copy. <laughs> I've never seen an old chain sticker. Usually they have their logo that looks shitty, and and you can't even see the logo. Now I don't need the logo. I need the all the, the I need the, the to know that this is something that we did, and it's the it's for this car. I remember we've had that where customers used to peel it from. The, from one car and put it in the other car and say, hey, look, <laughs> you, you did the old change at this time. And let's scan it real quick and see if this is true. This is, this, this is, uh, let's go back to VIP right here. And, uh, how am I gonna scan it? All right, let me see. I'm gonna scan it right there. Did you see that? <laughs> Insane. That's, that came from, the old change sticker. Man, the small stuff in this life, literally I've always said that, the small stuff in this life that makes me happy. It's the small things like that. So yeah, so we talked about uh, printing uh, checks, make sure you get that. Uh, printing old change stickers, make sure you get that. And the most important part, one of all of them is the square terminal. This thing, man, is fantastic. What are you, if you are paying the same rates, what are you doing? Go get this thing, man. Look professional and it makes you happy to go to the shop every day. This is the small stuff that makes you happy. The fact that you solve the problem where if you, if, if somebody tells me, Mark, can you solve the problem for me where I don't want to, I don't want to type in the amount every time I'm checking a customer out. And yes, it's solved. This will save you time. This will make you happier. If you're unhappy in this life, basically you're dealing with some stupid things on a daily basis. And with VIP shop management, all what we do every day is trying to make you like work less so you can focus on other things, not work less so you can be lazy. No, work less so you can focus on more important things. That's the routine stuff that we do every day it needs to be automated as much as possible because it's routine. There's nothing new about it. Uh, typing the number every day, that's nothing new about it. It's just routine and those routine things that we have to do every day uh, It must be automated somehow and we did that and let's just demonstrate this real quick VIP shop management authorize authorize And then pay invoice and card you can charge the fee. I keep saying that don't worry about it If 2.6 is, is, is too much then go ahead and charge the fee charge the customer the fee you see it says sending an amount and let's go back to VIP right here. I don't think I could, but I, yeah, I can. Right there. And it, it lights up and, and it's, it, I, literally it looks beautiful. It looks like a Mac computer or something. So it looks really good. Let me cancel this. Yes, take advantage of all those stuff that we have them and uh, ShopMonkey don't have it. TechMetric don't have it. Mitchell One don't have it. Um, what else, who else is out there? Shopware don't have them. All these big names, they don't have these features. Only VIP shop management does. You stand out. We have a cloud in an application. They have a cloud in a web page. Huge difference, man. Let me ask you a question. On your phone, do you open an application 
or do you go on the browser on TikTok? You open an application and that's what VIP is like that. You open an application, it's connected to the cloud, but you open an application with Chop Monkey, Techmetric, and, uh, and uh, well not Mitchell One, Chop Monkey, Tech, you are opening the browser. An application on the browser is good for ordering pizza or checking your bank account. Not for something you do all day long. You need an application. Why? When an application, we can control more things versus a web application. And why they do web application? Well, it's really simple, which is fine. I understand because it can open on Android and all this. But again, you really don't need that much. You need Windows. Windows is good enough. I, I do. I use Apple for my phone, and that's it. That's it. I would never buy an, a Mac computer. People say, well, why wouldn't you? How would that? Because, okay, if I was maybe a photo photographer, then yeah, I understand that. But with Windows, I need so many features. It, you know, Apple is so limited when it comes to that. Even the phone is limited, but I'm okay with that. With the phone, I only need to call and, and open apps and that's it, and manage and, and all that. Uh, but with computers, I need it to be unlimited. Why? Because I never know what I need. I need to be able to open a computer and replace things. You cannot do that with Mac. Mac, you get a box, they keep making the box smaller and smaller and smaller. That's it. And it's super expensive, that's another thing. That's why I don't like Mac. It's super expensive. Uh, I want a different monitor. I don't know, can you do that with Mac? Maybe burly. They're, they're, I was checking out, they have a 5K monitor that costs $7,000. Seven, I have an 85 inch TV that I'm super proud of that cost me $5,000 from Samsung and it's 8K. And you wanna charge us $7,000 for a monitor 32 inch? But that, that's the Apple way, man. It's, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, we went off subject. I appreciate you guys until next time. Thanks for watching.